Hello everybody, welcome right, my name is Benjamin Bloom, this is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel. Please leave your bias at the door and join us for Heroes and Villains, our weekly Monday show where we find out who got your gears grinding this week in the villains and who got your pulse a racing as the heroes each and every Sunday. I take your nominations, could be a team, could be a referee, it's often a referee, um, could be an individual player and uh, you nominate them, heroes and villains, and I make the final call and we can talk about three heroes and three villains. They are coming up right now. It's all a bit of fun, remember, so especially uh, with the villains. Let's not pile in too hard, but as always, appreciate your comments on each of these calls. Let's see who we've got as the first hero. And it is Cardiff City goalkeeper Dylan Phillips. Now, why is Dylan Phillips this week's hero? Because um, this is the ex-Charlton goalkeeper. Came in a few weeks ago. Smithy's got hurt. Maybe even just a few games ago. He's managed to keep his place. But in the game between Cardiff and Preston this week, Dylan Phillips saved two penalties. Not the same penalty then retaken, but two different penalties one minute apart. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, Paul Gallagher, who does the old Shearer spin and run, um, puts the first one to his right. He saves that one. But then, and we'll forget about this because he's still a hero. Um, no, it's not him who brings it out. I think it's Aiden Flint brings down um, the Gallagher, the taker again. And then Chet Evans steps up and misses the second one. So Dylan Phillips um, has the probably two most close together penalty saves from actual different penalties that weren't just retakes in the same game and is our first hero of the week and there is Dwayne Holmes uh, Dwayne Holmes of Huddersfield Town Huddersfield haven't been very good lately at all and they played Swansea who have been very good for most of the season and right up at the top of the championship but um, we got one of those championshipy results and Dwayne Holmes was moved up front, uh, this game is 1-1 at halftime. Lewis O'Brien puts uh, Huddersfield 2-1 up after halftime. And then a back-to-back -back double salvo from Holmes. He runs in, he scores the first one. And then this picture you can see there, I bet you can guess where that ball's going. He's miles out, left-hand side of the box. Flies that one in the far corner. Brilliant, reasonably recent signing Dwayne Holmes. Moved up front. Uh, did the damage and was the main man for Huddersfield Town this week. So he's our second hero. And finally, <laughs> this is a bit of a sarcastic one. This was suggested by Ewan on Twitter, I think. This is Ken Semmer of Watford, uh, who's a good player. Um, plays sort of front left in a 4-3-3 for Watford. And that little change of formation has seen uh, Watford win three games on the trot. But... This is that David Dunn moment. Do you remember when David Dunn tried the Rabona kick and kind of fell over and Steve Bruce is just on the side laughing? Brilliant. They used to just play that all the time. So, Ken Semmer has just attempted a step over there. Um, unfortunately, as he steps back, the ball hits his heel and that's Max Bird marking him. It just goes out behind him. You must check it out. Type Ken Semmer into Twitter. It's possibly the worst step over um, you'll ever see. But um, Beans, he took it with good grace and he made us all smile. Ken Semmer can go in the heroes. Are you all ready? Um, let's not get too cross because here come the villains. Oh dear. There is Liam Shaw who has just been sent off for Sheffield Wednesday. Ouch. Is that that bad I hear you ask? Well, yes, it is. Because he was sent off in a vital bottom of the table clash. It was nil-nil when Liam Shaw was sent off for his second yellow card. He throws himself into a tackle. Silly Billy, um, after he's off, 10 versus 11, Sheffield Wednesday lose the game at home to Birmingham and Birmingham go out of the bottom three and the archetypal six-pointer is lost. But when I spoke to Wednesday fans today, it's even worse because Liam Shaw has signed a pre-contract agreement to go to Celtic at the end of the season. So, he's done something very silly in a very, very big game. And if they were to get relegated, he's not even going to be there. 
So Wednesday fans are um, not considering Liam Shaw the smartest tool in the box at the moment for diving in to that second tackle. He's a good player, good young player. Good luck to him. He's going to get his move and play in front of tens of thousands at Celtic. Although they're not doing very well at the moment, are they? But has he cost Sheffield Wednesday in a big gargantuan six-pointer? That is Liam Shaw. Oh, dear. It's referee Martin Atkinson. Oh, and he, well, I think I'm living vicariously through Graham Sooners, which I don't know is ever a good thing to do. So referee Atkinson was in charge of Fulham Sheffield United at the end of this game. There was a decision which has wound up Blades fans and Chris Wilder and Graham Sooners massively. Ariola, the Fulham keeper, comes out 50-50 challenge with Jaden Bogle. Ariola kind of gets his left foot on the ball, but then completely cleans out Bogle inside the six-yard box as well. And um, pretty much over 100%, 99.999% of Sheffield United fans are telling me it's a scandalous decision from Atkinson and it was a definite penalty. There was some weirdness to it in terms of how the players came together, but... Um, I suspect, given the direction of the ball and the forward motion of Ariola, um, I'm quite surprised it got past Atkinson and VAR. And that was another key game at the bottom of the table. And Sheffield United looking in a lot of trouble. No thanks to referee Martin Atkinson. Here's our last one. There he is. You can see from the crest on his jacket. Nice jacket, that. Uh, Bristol City CEO. Mark Ashton, who is not very popular with Bristol City fans at the moment. Dean Holden is gone and Ashton is in trouble because uh, apparently he should never have brought in Holden to replace Lee Johnson and the club has wasted a season and, and all the good recruitment they've done is now starting to plateau out and it's all not very good um, for Bristol City fans. And guess what? The consortium being linked with by um, by an Ipswich, <laughs> Mark Ashton, is um, involved in as well. So basically, I'm getting it from both ends now. I'm getting Bristol City fans on my championship stuff telling me, oh, Mark Ashton, get him out. He's done a terrible job as CEO. Where are we going? And then I'm having Ipswich fans as well saying, Ben, what do you know about Mark Ashton? Um, apparently, he's in bed with this um, US consortium. I'm sure nothing will come of the latter. But um, certainly Bristol City fans, not very happy at the moment. And he is our last villain of the week. Let's cycle through so you can just get a quick recap before you comment. Here are our heroes of the week. Double penalty saving Dylan Phillips of Cardiff. Double goal scoring Dwayne Holmes of Huddersfield. And super step over Ken Semmer. Um, excellent stuff. Villains. Liam Shaw signed a pre-contract and then got red carded in a key um, relegation six-pointer at Sheffield Wednesday. Martin Atkinson. Look at that smile. <laughs> Deary man. Um, yeah, dubious penalty call for uh, Fulham against Sheffield United. And Mark Ashton, um, the man the Bristol City fans are not very happy with at the moment. There are our heroes and villains. Every week, Get involved. There's a post put out on YouTube and um, Twitter. We do a post every week. So get involved. Follow at Benjamin Bloom or subscribe over here on YouTube. And you too can suggest. Um, let me know if we've missed anybody out that you would have had in. We can't use everybody's suggestion else. The show would be about five hours long. And as ever, it's supposed to be a light-hearted look. So don't pile in too hard with too great a football fan outrage particularly on the villains. Uh, get your suggestions in next week. Um, and I will see you next Monday for the next Heroes and Villains. Um, chance for me to um, have a bit of fun rather than my normal cogent and very considered analysis. But we will see you tomorrow for some more of that um, with the Championship Preview. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you to the Heroes. And you disgust me, you villains. <laughs> Over and out.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. To see more videos from this channel, hit the subscribe button and to be notified every time we upload. Ring the bell for those notifications to come through on your device. If you really want to support the channel and me as a content creator, I will be eternally grateful if you head over to the merch store and grab something or support over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Benjamin Bloom. Thank you for your time. Go watch another video.